Uh, g'day again. So, uh, Mr. Curran of, of Tynemouth Software fame, I uh, was one was curious to see what cheese and onion looked like with uh, Chris's VGA adapter. So, why not give it a try? Let me get set up. Hey, there we go. We've got it in the three-way expander, so there's a bit of space. Uh, let's see, power on. All right, we go in here and switch her on so that should go on yeah yo 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 oh okay so i know that uh chris did say um there is an issue with at least one game you know is where there's uh flashing like this um i think it's one of those uh Grand Prix ones. So he's got here Polaris has got flashing colours. Um, so what has he got? Let's have a look. Okay, that's loading stuff via the SD to IEC. Okay, some games will display a okay, cabinet having an alter screen, however, some games do not. So this is for changing the screen size. Um, so I overcome this problem, press the font select button, which is on here. So I don't know if that will, I don't think that's got anything to do with the flashing colors though. But it's, yeah, step through the six settings. Yeah, so if we switch to, uh, where's my remote control? Switch to AV. There's all the different. Okay. Switch to AV. Switch to AV. So that's what it looks like. Uh, set it up probably. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think my cable's probably not in a bit properly. So please ignore that at the top. That's more my VIX problem. Plug everything in. Poor thing's been getting abused. So, that's AV. Oh yeah, so like um, Dave said, so it uses the full width of the screen, so including the border. Uh, Alright, let's go back to that. I need to sort this one out at this VIX uh, anyway. So yes, yeah, so unfortunately it looks like it's one of the flashing ones. Um, okay, yeah, so games like Pole Position and Polaris will show an unpleasant flashing screen. This is because the code is reading the VIC chip horizontal line indicator and changing the background color. Since the VIC chip and VGA do not run in synchronization. Oh, uh, I, okay. All right, so it's just worded a bit strange, yes. Um, is so the VIC chip, is, so it's reading the VIC chip horizontal line indicator and changing the background color since the VIC chip and VGA uh, do not run in synchronization. So he's thinking about an acceptable solution for this problem. So there you go, Dave. Unfortunately, um, it's not running perfectly at the moment in VGA, but it does, if you don't mind the flicker, um, it does look really good. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there you go, Dave. I hope, hope that was helpful. Bye for now. Okay. <laughs> I just realised uh, when I finished the last bit, so I really should have just tried playing a bit of the game to show a bit of that as well. So, here we go. So, you can see it is, it is offset to the right. Um, let's try, sorry, that should be a um, flashing warning. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, don't land on them. 
Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, so I think, yeah, the issue is like um, Chris says, this, uh, they're not in synchronization. And the game, the way the game works, causes this. All right, so hopefully, uh, yeah, there we go. Now it's uh, it's bye for now.